In a previous video, I have showed you, how to make this amazing ESP ring board. It is a NeoPixel ring, with a onboard ESP8266 microcontroller, for driving the LEDs. If you haven't seen it yet, feel free to check that out. Link to that video, is in the cards and in the video description. In that video, I talked about how I prepared the custom PCB, and how I made a simple analog clock using it. So in this video, I will be showing you, how we can make some more awesome project, using the very same board. So, without any further ado, let's get started. This video is sponsored by NextPCB.com. NextPCB is a high quality PCB manufacturer in Shenzhen, China. With professional PCB manufacturing capabilities. You can earn some points daily by clicking here, which you can use for your next order. Next PCB offers you a PCB prototype for $0, which means, you can get your first order, for free. They are doing this, just to let you have your first trial order, to try their high quality PCB and wonderful service. First, log in to your account. Create a new one, if you don't have any. Click the link in the description to get a $5 coupon. Then open the PCB instant code page. There, give your PCB dimension and select 5 quantities. Leave all the other parameters as it is. And as you can see, you can get your first PCBs for $0. Select your country and desired shipping method, and click on add to cart button. Then you need to upload your gerber files, and you need to wait for some times to process the order. When it's done, you can place the order. Next PCB is a PCB manufacturer with more than 15 years of experience in PCB and PCBA service. Since Next PCB promises the PCB safety with ISO 14001 and ISO 9001 and all certifications, so that the PCB quality will be your last thing to worry about. Besides, their services cover these processes such as sourcing components, PCB manufacturing, PCB assembly, testing, and final shipment. Sign up now, to get your first trial order on nextpcb.com. Check the links below in the description to get $5 for free. In the first part of this video, we will see how to make a mood light, that can be controlled over Wi-Fi. You can set different scenes and animations, and change it anytime from a web server, without doing any sort of complex coding. All thanks to a library called WS2812FX. I will leave a link in the description, from which you can download it. As you can see, there are more than 55 different effects, and you can also change the speed of the effects and brightness of the LEDs. So, let's go ahead and download it. I have done it already, so I will just open the Arduino IDE. In the IDE, open the ESP8266 web interface file from the examples. Here you need to make some adjustments, before uploading the code. You need to set the SSID and password of your router. And you need to set the GPI open, connect it to the LEDs, and total number of LEDs. That's all you need to change in the code. So now, let's just upload it. After successfully uploading the code, we can obtain the IP address, from the serial monitor. Open the IP address in your web browser, and start playing with it. By the way, I have a small tindy store, where I sell this boards and some of my other projects. So if you like to support my work, you can purchase this from there. This will be very helpful, and I really appreciate your support.
The next one is also a very interesting project. If you ever wonder, it'd be great if you know, in which part of your house, you'll get the best possible Wi-Fi network coverage. Then this project will make your life easier. Because now, we will try to measure the signal of your Wi-Fi network, and visualize it using the NeoPixels. For that we will utilize the Wi-Fi dot RSSI function. So first let's see how to do that. Download the signal strength test code from my GitHub repository. Here, just change the SSID and the password of your Wi-Fi network and hit upload. When it's done, open the serial monitor, and you can see the received signal strength in dBm. The lower the value the better it is. Now all is left to do, is to take that value, map it from 0 to 11, because we have 12 LEDs, and set the LED color accordingly. And it's done. Here, I am using my smartphone as a Wi-Fi hotspot. As the signal strength gets stronger and stronger, the color changes from red to yellow, to green, and finally blue for optimum connectivity. Hope you enjoy the video, please leave a like if you do. Share this video and subscribe to ElectroPoint.